good YouTube? Slendy Revolution X here. Coming to you guys today with another edition of Slendy Talks. And what I want to talk about today is the ARG Circuit Series in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it concluded earlier today. By the time this video will get up, it'll probably be yesterday. Um, but it was a pretty good event. We saw basically a lot of what Dragons of Legends brought to the game. So Patrick Hoban won again. This is his third ARG Circuit Series top. You know how many they've had? Eight. So, essentially, what they were talking about on even the, on the Twitch cast, like, if you guys were watching it all, is that they should just start a, uh, ARG second place fan club because everybody's pretty much lost to Patrick Hoban. I mean, when you're literally winning about 40% of the events, I mean, I don't think the guy's any joke, don't get me wrong. I know there's some haters out there that think he's, you know, not such a great player, but, um, if you watched him play, he is a very methodical, smart player. And I think it honestly has, I mean, he was in a lot of sticky situations, but like, honestly, it has gotten him to where he was. Like, you could see him setting up three or four turns in advance for his winning turns. Like, a lot of these were, you know, 30-minute matches. Like, he used all the time that he had, and I think that really shows a smart player. And it wasn't in any way stalling. Like, you could see that he was pretty much calculating his moves, things like that, along the way. So, but he won another one, which is insane. He used the cards from Dragons of Legends, namely Soul Charge, very effectively. Now, I think this event, what it did was pretty much showed us that Soul Charge is a freaking amazing card. Now, I know I'm going to have a lot of people, like, kind of doubt what I'm saying here, but I think it's okay. Like, I don't think it's crazy OP. Do I think it should be limited? Absolutely, because I think it's one of those cards that needs to be a one of. But I don't think that it is incredibly OP, like a lot of things. Okay, so what people are essentially comparing it to is Return. And this is why I don't think that it's as crazy as Return was, is it is splashable in pretty much everything. So you can put it in 9 out of 10 decks, um, Bujin's probably being one of the few that you can't in the meta, um, whereas Return was pretty much exclusively with Dragons, and it exclusively made Dragons that much better. Now, do I think that with the release of Soul Charge, Dragons bumped up to the top of the game of the bumped up to the top game of the meta. Yeah, I think so. I think that it pretty much fortified itself looking in this over it. I mean, a lot of people before Soul Charge was released thought it would really make its peak performance in water, which we really, you know, you saw it in the top 16 at ARG, but it wasn't as dominant as Dragons were. I mean, you saw it came down to two Dragons. It was uh Alexander Liskaith and Patrick Hoban, and I mean, Liskaith took the first round, the uh, first duel, but Pat came back with a pretty much vicious games 2, 3, and 4, um, and if you guys don't know, ARG Circuit Series Finals are best out of 5, which, I mean, can we kind of talk about for a second how the Circuit Series are kind of, I kind of like them a little better than YCS's. Uh, I think they're conducted better, they're organized better, I mean... If you guys have been to one, it's an amazing event. Like, you really feel like you're part of everything there. Um, they allow you to do things that YCS and Yu-Gi-Oh! sanctioned events don't. I mean, I think it's just a really big player-friendly thing, which is something awesome that you really, you know, don't get at regional or YCS events. Like, if I was com to compare the two, it was going to be very different thing. So, back to the tournament itself. Patrick Hoban won, Alexander Lithgaith. I mean, the it was Dragons in the top. You really saw Soul Charge come out. Patrick Hoban was also playing Curry Bandit, which I think we will see a lot more in the game as well. Just the milling factor. I mean, we could see that in Light Swords. You could see it in a lot of stuff. Uh, I think it's just an overall really good card that came out in that set, uh, along with a couple other things. But as it, every pack does, it kind of solidifies itself into the game fairly quickly. I mean, you look at this tournament, and yeah, there were a lot of people that clearly hadn't played enough with the cards. Because, yes, Soul Charge is very, very good, a very good offensive card. But if you watch some of these matches, it also broke a lot of players. Um, which kind of, I think, solidified it as a, you know, not OP card. Because it, was, it would either make or break you in a match. I mean, there were several times, um, and you look at the final game of the whole tournament, where Lithgate, I think, paid three grand and ended up with 100 life points for Soul Charge, and it ended up the being the reason he lost. So, there was a lot of good players at this tournament, and I think it's something that we 
don't get to see everywhere. There's a lot of good players coming together. Um, so it was a really great event, and I like the way that it showed um, Dragons of Legends and how good the cards in that set are. Because, you know, I was kind of skeptical when it came out um, due to the fact that, you know, it's another one of those, oh, here's five hollows in a pack thing where it was kind of like, uh, hidden arsenal again, please no. Uh, but turns out it's a really good set. I like what I'm seeing. Do I think some things are going to get limited or banned in it? Absolutely. Uh, if it is Soul Charge, it remains to be seen. But out of all the ARG events, I think I enjoyed watching this one the most. I do try to keep up with them on Twitch. Uh, which is really awesome. Another great thing that no YCS ever has is live video coverage. I mean, it's so simple. Why wouldn't you just take advantage of that? So um, I think ARG is doing some things right. If you guys get the chance, go to one of these. I went to the one in Columbus. I mean, it was a fantastic tournament, a fantastic event, two-day event. I mean, it was just a blast the entire time. So... Um, if you guys have any comments on the ARG thing, please leave them in the comment section below. I know I have several new subscribers here coming from the next great yu gi -Tuber thing. Thank you guys. I mean, that's great. I'm over 200 subscribers. I mean, not even six hours ago, I was at 186. So thank you guys for coming here, checking out my channel. Uh, I hope to do a lot of great things in the next great yu gi -Tuber and with my channel from here on out. Uh, so... Thank you guys. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you have any comments on anything I've said in the past five minutes or so, leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I always do my best to try to get back to you. And as always, guys, remember to subscribe to join the revolution today. This is Slender Revolution X, signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.